up, getting ready to head up to Cairns from Innisfail. Chevys are all fired up. Macca's ready to go. How are you, Macca? Well, you're the person with the camera. I was told to wait here and there'd be a camera here soon, but I didn't realise it was you, Miriam. It's me with my phone. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what a morning, eh? Very professional. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, it's got three things on the back. I know. Which so, one do you look at? It's an iPhone 13 Pro. I don't know. 13 but... Pro, not just the 13. This one's the professional. It is the professional. you got to be careful when you use the word pro these days, <laughs> haven't you? See you in Cairns. <laughs> See you in Cairns. It's like there's no guessing whose van this is. <laughs> Everybody meet Teddy. Hello, Teddy. What it's about? <laughs> well, we're about to film Macca back into the caravan. So. And what are you going to do? Give him a lot of grief. How you how you back up a camera? Hello. Boy, mate, just swing around that way, Macca. Not much right. this radio. How am I going? Hello. Oh, mate, you going okay? You going all right? Do you want me to get Mary to do it for you? Nice and easy. Better that break, mate. Bit of chaos this morning, trying to get out of here. No one really knows who's doing what and where we're going, but the pandas are going the wrong way. It's missing you already, oh. look. <laughs> oh, oh, let him, no, 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 no. In the glove box. No, 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 no. Oh. Bye, buddy. Sitting here, waiting for the cane toads to come out because everyone say hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Apparently it's a good idea to put cane toads there and hi, make them raise up. <laughs> And he's trying to film a TV show. He's trying to film a TV show. So right, Dale. Don't mind these guys. Whoa! Don't get the camera while you're in here. Pick him up. Get him, Agar. There's yours there. Hold him tight. Which is yours, mate? Tiny one. Good fella. Oh, you got the big fella. Grab that one. Hold him. Don't squeeze him. Hold him. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's over here. He's over here. He's over here. Oh, he's going in the hole. Oh, he's going in the hole. <laughs> What's wrong, babe? <laughs> <Tyler. laughs> it's all oh, princess. <laughs> Go in the middle. <laughs> You get to take <laughs> You get to take him home now, honey. Oh no, don't get it. Oh. <laughs> Put it in the van and keep travelling with you. No, no, no. <laughs> You've got to come and kiss it. Well done, Miriam's a winner. It is much more my time of King Toad Racing. How did Macca make it? Well I said I didn't come second, but I'm here. to bring up the real winner who was uh, Miriam. Come on up, Miriam. <laughs> Definitely enough cane toad interaction to last me a lifetime. <laughs> we are rolling out again. Yeah, cool man. And we'll see how we go. Once again, we are leapfrogging with the camera crew our way to Cairns. Actually, I'm just going to pull over here on the left and get us all back together. We need to regroup again, so this is our third stop. So this is actually quite funny. Mac is like, everyone pull over, pull over, and we all pulled over. And uh, the camera crew are over there. They were waiting, <laughs> waiting for us to get a rolling shot, and we've like pulled over right in the middle of a shot. Whoopsie! Well, I've been kicked out of the ADU Chevy and I'm jumping in the hire car because Chris has got a cameraman that's going to be riding with him for this next stint. I'm riding in the cool car now. Is this just us? <laughs> it's just us. Oh, sweet. And all, and all the gear. Can't even have lunch without the cameras coming out at Green Patch Campground. The camp is over there. We were over here and apparently this was all underwater two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. How was your ride in the big Chevy? Oh, it was good, really good. Did, really you, good. did you say all the right things? He did say he was um, quite enjoying not traveling with you for a while. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would come out at some point. <laughs> the signs that you become very familiar with up in North Queensland. 
cheese and veg, chicken, wraps. Oh, that one's pretty. Coming into the toilet and um, check that out, the spider webs. Oh my goodness. The roller shot's happening now. Or what is it, the vehicle to vehicle tracking shots? GoPro out the window. As we come past coconut cans, or cans Genia. coconut in Genia. So where are we now? We are at Lake Placid, and here goes Mr. Wazza. Mr. Wazza! Wazza! Yeah! So look at that beautiful pool. There's a bit of a pool here. Look at the tropics. Oh. We're surrounded by it. Don't go swimming in the river. Definitely not the Barren River. Not the, not the river. Lots of crocodiles. They're out and about, baby. <laughs> Closed off the street, <laughs> having our own little street party. Back and relax. We've got dinner in about an hour. Just gonna enjoy being here at Lake Placid in Cairns. Today's adventures have Chris. Very, very excited. We are pulling into the Sky Park, I don't know, adventure center, I guess it is. And Chris is gonna go bungee jumping. I'm jumping. I will give it a go if I'm allowed to, but as far as I'm aware, only one of us is allowed to jump, so. five o'clock almost dinner time and we knew there was going to be a street party outside but look at what's going on over here lighting is being set up we have a marquee right here <laughs> and apparently was has been walking around the whole park inviting everyone because the more people you invite the less complaints you get did you realize this was going to be such a huge street party no I did not know <laughs> And you know what sucks about this street party? It's, well, it's right. If we, want to do a, if we want to smoke bomb and go to bed, our van's right in the middle of it. <laughs> so no smoke bombing tonight. <laughs> as if you'd smoke bomb. Your exactly, beer is, as if I would ever smoke bomb. Your beer is full of fridge and you're ready to rumble. My beer is full of fridge, is it? I mean, your fridge is full of beer. <laughs> this is what we've got going on now. Look at all these people. I don't want to be singing a song. We are singing in front of the entire caravan park. We are. Yeah. And to make it worse, it's on national TV too. So. <laughs> yeah, awesome. It's got the party lights happening on the van though. A bit of atmosphere. So we're out here. Chris is very excited, aren't you? Wee oui, wee. Oui. To be doing his rendition of Like a Virgin. Ooh. Oh. Apparently. Well, you, you, you guys They're going to know, aren't they? You guys can know. Anyway, wish us luck. Clearly, we can't film ourselves on this camera doing what we're doing out there so I'm gonna put you away and I honestly think I might be able to insert some phone footage if someone will shoot for me on the phone other than that you're gonna to have to watch it on TV uh, look I'm here to play a few songs for you but 
a bit of a live karaoke thing. So if there are any singers in the audience tonight, come and see me and um, don't be shy. And, and I can be your guitarist guy. So um, I'm sure someone out there must know K-San. I can be at your service. So. <laughs> insignificant but I need to introduce someone very special who you may or may not know. It's the host of our incredible television show What's Up Down Under which is shown nationally on the Channel 10 network at 3 o'clock Saturdays and replayed on Sunday on 10 Bowl. <laughs> if you're not watching it you're the only one that isn't. A war man on his opening it's Marco! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Steve A. Oh, thank you guys. Don't spoil me mate. Don't spoil me. So it was a stitch up. We don't have to sing. Look who showed up. taking me to today? Well, the usual answer is, oh, I don't know. No. Hello down there. Did you just ask where are we going? Because <laughs> I just asked that too. Strange fruit is what we're used to. Turns out today's adventures bring us to the Sky Rail, but we've been told to wear enclosed shoes, so we have got no idea what's going on because you don't need enclosed shoes for the Sky Rail. So Sky Rail up and then something at the top. Oh, so many surprises. We have a, what are we doing today? Sky Rail up here. And we have the tour guide. This is the North Queensland tour guide. He's going to give us a full rundown of what's going on. Danny? Yeah, mate. Fill us in, mate. What's going on here? Oh, well, we're going to hit Sky Rail today, mate. And um, look, everything going all right. We're going to probably get up and down safely. No promises, of course. Uh, we're going to get you to sign a waiver. Um, that's just to cover us, really, because one in every two doesn't come down. But uh, no, only kidding. We're going to have the time of our life. The best way to see this area for you at home is to get up here and get in the air. It's the only way to take in the absolute majesty of this area. 100%. Let's do this. Daddy! All right, all right. Eww. Oh, look. We're filming We're filming a film guy. He was more of a professional, though. Look at this bloke. How we going, gang? How's everyone doing this morning? Getting ready. Any, any, any hungover people? Or? No, not us. No, no. Ask, ask the guy in the blue shirt over there. Yeah, he's done. Vegas. Are we a little hungover this morning, mate? Or we no, mate. Good? Never been hungover in my life. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> have, we, have, we, have we got a harness again? We had one last time. We're going to be harnessed we? in. So just to fill you in, we're going in a open... An, uh, it's called a glider, so it's an open um, thingamajigamy. Gondola. Gondola. There you go. An open gondola. Do you want to talk? I'm a little hungover, no, I'm sorry. you feel great. You can continue. It's hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Okay, so these are our standard gondolas that everyone else goes in. We are going in a full open one, so this is going to be cool. They reckon the views up there, 360 views, are just stunning. I'm ready for it. We are locked in and ready to rock. We have done this before and we did it in the enclosed gondola with our kids when they were quite young. Yeah. And it was absolutely amazing. But this up here in the open air is... It's stunning. Check it out, unreal. kids. We're going to have some amazing views when we get further up. The floor, um, it's full of leaf litter and scrub and grass trees. 
and then in two towers time you'll see the vegetation completely shift. Awesome. Feel. Like I'm in the World Heritage listed <laughs> tropical rainforest. This is stunning, isn't it? So the vegetation has changed now. It's completely different than what it was 30 seconds ago, yeah. which is actually quite interesting. The views are getting better and we are continuing to climb. Terrible views, look at that. <laughs> Fantastic, I, isn't I don't it? want to get an enclosed one now. All right, so we're at our first platform and we're walking downstairs, so... Don't stack it, mate. Don't not. stack it. <laughs> I probably will. So with the Sky Rail, they stop at platforms and if you want to, you can actually get off and go for a little bit of a walk. And um, we've been told to come down here and check out Cowry Tree. Cowry Tree, Tree, yes. So we're... Wow, wow. We didn't, we didn't fall down yet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go this way. So, we'll go this way for yeah, a bit. <laughs> we're going to wander around and have a bit of a look through yeah. the rainforest while we're here. And, and a bit more random information too, that, that gondola that we went on, the open one, you can do that, the public can do it. I think it's $110 extra and you'll yeah. get a private... Um, you get a ranger that ranger. joins you and gives that, you a yeah. private tour. Give you all the information on the rainforest itself because there's yeah. a lot to know about it, it's amazing. So. Yeah, and there's information boards, like we're just, we're just walking all the way down, but there's, uh, if you can see over here. Uh-oh, information boards. There's lots of them, so I'm not gonna read them all, but you can do the walk and you can read about well, that's about the battle continues about the canopy. Okay. So, the canopy, not the GCI Tragic canopy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go find this tree. Let's go find the cowrie tree. The king of the jungle is over 400 years old, and if you look up, it's nearly as old as you, babe. Have a look up the tree, you'll notice that there are no vines or any other plants growing on it, and so it's not been competing for light, so it's able to just do its thing, which is get rid right. of it. Right, yeah, okay, yeah. technical. Try climbing that tree, that would be quite difficult. <laughs> we ride in We got here. Hey. We've got a glass floor. It's called the Diamond View because it's for gems like us. <laughs> After this, when we get up to the top to Coranda, I think we're going quad biking. We definitely are. Someone accidentally let it slip, so we're on the ATVs. <laughs> so now we know why we had to wear shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Look, I've got shoes on. He was so cranky. He's like, we don't need to wear shoes to go on the sky rail. It's like, surely there's something at the top. Yeah. And that's what it is. Uh, oh. Trip of a lifetime. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to shut the whole thing down. Yeah, I better stop. I'm jumping around. <laughs> Us off our... So, oh, hang on. <laughs> Better take that call. Let me just see who it is first. <laughs> oh, it's Twisty. Hey, you going, Twisty? I'm not oh. lost, but I'm not on. Something between us still feels strong. So we've reached leg two. Oh, look at this there. <laughs> we have Boys. reached leg two of the Sky Rail. This is the Baron Falls section. Yes. So we're going to go for a bit of a walk. These falls are sensational and we've been fortunate enough to see it several times in real the wet season the flooding and the, and the cyclone type weather and it is it's amazing yeah, when it there's is. a whole lot of water cascading over yeah it is it's insane it's still amazing now but it's yeah. just kind of a, a different feels like a different place doesn't it yeah the whole barren gorge is stunning so we'll show you right now
I actually don't know what this bit is. It's the ATV. Is that right now? Yep. Oh, ATV. Why am I going in circles? For? I don't know, but I'm like, I just keep looking over my shoulder. I like your wheels. How's my wife going a bigger one than me? Yeah. <laughs> Fashion statement of the day. And these cassowaries are high. Because wild dogs are a really bad problem here in the far north, um, that, yeah, they'll try and kill those cassowaries. So these guys are now an, at an old enough age that they can somewhat outrun a dog. So that male there, he can get up to about 60 k's in a quick sprint. The only difference between a male and a female is the size of them. So females are like three times the size of a male. It would be quite messy after that. I said, good luck with the birds. Delicious. Going to keep rolling. You yeah. don't see very much of me on this footage because, well, this is the leader of the pack. You and want to get park any closer? She told me to. Oh. And this is me. So I'm on. Start her up. Show me how you start it up. No, because you don't do that until you're told. Oh, okay. You have to obey the rules. Well, I'm going down the backside and film this all. Tour. Okay. wander down around the back of this incredible tree look at it there is a little pocket just over here that has water in it so it fills up in our wet season and then slowly filters it through in our dry season super thin so when we were told we were doing an atv tour which wasn't until just before, I had no idea what to expect. I guess I was expecting riding fast and getting dirty and just not what we've done. We've actually done a really cool interpretive tour through the rainforest. So we're stopping and we're looking at crazy cool trees and vines and learning about the animals and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's really cool. Um, so John Wayne was an American actor back in the day, made old uh, Western films, very great at what he did. So the reason why we have a photo here is because this road that we are standing on now is the original Coranda Range. So it was built back in World War II when we landed 30,000 troops off Trinity Beach to fight the war up in the Solomon Islands. The train could only go so many times a day, so I think it was a boy with the first dozer, he was about 16, pushed this road through to walk them all up, and John Wayne came over and entertained them on their journey. Eventually that will bring down the tree, which will be a very sad day, because we love watching that up there. But they are also the homes to our tree kangaroos. Have you ever heard of those? Yeah. 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 I've seen Ulysses, I've seen Granadilla, I've seen that fruit that really, really stinks, but I can't remember what it's called. So many cool things. That's a Miriam fruit. That's a Miriam fruit. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to go into the shed and see what's in there. Yeah. Cooling down system. 
So everything is being made out of copper, handcrafted and put together to the way that he wanted it. So, so rum has to be in a barrel for a minimum two years. Most common answer from a kid is hand sanitizer or smells like a highlighter. Ooh. Oh, it does a bit actually. All right, all right. All right fist pump, go. We just borrow a little Scottish, I reckon. How was that, kid? Awesome. To be fair, if I'd known we were doing that, I probably would have worn different shorts. You're I mean... like, you should be part of the Hells Angels, mate. You know, you were just <laughs> bad bikey. Bad bikey. <laughs> so how was that, honey? How'd you go on the moto? I was not very good on the moto, but... Well, you were first. You were the first. very first, and I can tell you it didn't do very good because we were going really slow. And I Hang was on, I was following the leader. Oh, I okay. The leader. Right. But no, I thought that was no, one of the, the best on. things because it wasn't that's just great. riding ATV. It was the whole... It was the, learning about stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the oldest rainforest in the world. Yeah. There were signs all around that kept saying that. So yeah. 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 Absolutely this loved it. Well, our time here at SkyRail has come to an end and we are gondolering. Is that a word? Gondola ring? <laughs> the word now. We are gondolering our way back to Smithfield. When you get to the bottom, you get a photo. It gets popped into a little bag like that. And then you get to download them as well. So, very cool. G'day and welcome to the show. Now, the team at Everything Caravan and Camping have asked us to grab four families who own the road, own the road. They own it. They bought it. They paid cash for it and they're living on it. <laughs> What's up? Today it's all about wrapping things up. We're filming the intros, the outros, the inside bits, the outside bits. The inside bits, the outside bits. <laughs> and we're showing you what's up down under. So that's what's been going on all day today. We have just done our closer with all what's up down under. I'm going to take you outside and show you what's going on. Everyone is winding down. The shoot has finished. Today was our final day of filming. Everyone's just kicking back and relaxing, so I'll take you out. We can say goodbye to everybody. So that's a wrap for What's Up Down Under. We're going to go say goodbye to everyone. Bye. 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 And everybody say, <laughs> What's Up what's Down Under? Down under? <laughs> that's the first time they've got it right and the first time they've done what they're told. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> bacon. bacon. We're going to miss bye. you, mate. Um, you guys have just been amazing. Uh, it's been a really good group of people. We don't always get all these people together and have everything work. It doesn't always work like that. Sometimes people hate each other, but um, you guys have just been awesome. And, uh, and the, I think the crew's been amazing. They work their asses off in tropical Absolutely. heat and long days, yeah. Yeah. Uh, working their butts off. And you guys have just been awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks. And thank you on behalf of all of us to Warren yes. for yes. making this what can only be described as the, the trip, trip of a lifetime. Woo! Yeah. 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 And, and I'm really sorry, but we are taking the silver out of back. <laughs> Sadly, this is our very last meal together. It's something we're really going to miss. Better sorry, <laughs> Thank you.